how do they pour these molds so nicely? And they're like professionals. We've got a leg. <laughs> you help me. I cannot help the enemy. I melted the whisker by accident. Again! And we let it harden so it doesn't look like a poop. <laughs> is anyone else speechless? This is amazing. Hey guys, I'm Veronica. I'm Vanessa. Have you ever seen chocolate art like this? trying chocolate art. We are going to both be creating the same sculpture and whoever has the better sculpture wins this challenge. So we're gonna need you guys to vote in the comments whose sculpture is better. Yes, so stay till the end of the video to see how our chocolate art sculptures turn out. Make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up for chocolate. And you better subscribe or I'm coming to your house and pouring all this on your pillow. No. <laughs> I hate that. That would Don't, be a terrible We're not thing. gonna do that, but just please subscribe. <laughs> Anyways, these chocolate art videos are so intricate and they're crazy. This specific creator, Omri Guchan, he's got 10 million subscribers and he specializes in really amazing chocolate art sculptures or just really fancy looking desserts. So this is where we got our inspiration from. We are going to try and make, drum roll please, try and make a cat. When you're making chocolate art, molds are the, the most molds. important things. You need you need molds. So the challenge today is these are the only molds we have. We've got little poops, some paw prints, and little bones. doggy bone treats. So these are the molds we have to work with. We might have to improvise some things, but yes, the goal is to make a cat sculpture. I'm going to use a poop for the body of my cat, and then I'm going to use another poop for the ears, and then this for the legs. Oh, you're just going ahead. I am. You're just going I, for it. I'm gonna do a cube kitty. I don't even, what does that mean? A cube kitty? A cube kitty. I'm gonna use the cubes to make a cat, so it's gonna look like a cat, but it's gonna have a cube-shaped body. Make your predictions now. Whose cat, based off of what we just said, is gonna be better looking? The poop cat or the square cat? Cube cat. Cube cat. I mean, we could definitely melt this in like a pot, but we're just gonna do the very very easy way and just microwave and melt these. Okay, I'm here. She's giving a head start. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm doing to be honest. <laughs> Should I just throw it and you just see it across the screen? I'm just gonna fill these molds up, I guess, with chocolate. All right, here we go. That's the head. I know it doesn't look like much. I'm just gonna do two of these. Okay, I got two poop molds. This is the head. I'm gonna conjoin these together at some point. And then this is gonna be like my detailed chocolate piece. All right, I got my ears and my body. Actually. Let's do some legs. I think a cat needs four legs. I think I'm gonna need more chocolate. How do they pour these molds so nicely? Okay. They're like professionals. I need some paws, right? Cats have paws. Here's the head. These are whiskers, if they will even work. I don't even know how that's gonna work. This is for my ears, and this is the eyes and the nose. Okay, what do I do with this? Put it in the fridge? Wait, so you made whiskers? I need to make a head. So I've got my paws, got a body, got the ears, I got some legs. I need more chocolate. Ah, uh, I remember the first time I had chocolate. I ate it! Huh? <laughs> anyone? Anyone? Know the reference? Yes, yes, yes. SpongeBob. Uh, yes, chocolate. So I made two poop poops. I don't know how else to rephrase that. <laughs> <laughs> so this is gonna be the the face, and we're gonna like glue it together somehow. I'm not sure how, but it's just it's gonna work. And then I'm gonna put the rest of that in a piping bag so I can mold it all together. I think I'm good. I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this in the fridge. We'll just stack these on top of each other. Like so, okay. Like the hoops, this one's more firm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! Sorry. <laughs> That's That's unnecessary a... sound effect. <laughs> For poop. <laughs> Ooh! Okay, there. So I've got all my pieces in the fridge. 
fridge. We'll see what happens. Whoa, that looks so good. We've got some edible paint here. I'm not really sure how this is going to work. So this is what it looks like. So I guess you can just squeeze it on like this. Oh my gosh, I'm just getting chocolate everywhere. This is a disaster. Whoa, wait, is it leaking? How am I getting black paint on my hands? Oh my can gosh. Help. Oh, can you help me? I cannot help the enemy. I'll help. If we give our chocolate at least like 30 minutes, I think it'll solidify. I don't think it's gonna take that long. We're gonna wait till these solidify in the fridge and then we're gonna get back to working. In the meantime, what is your favorite chocolate? Cat. Dark chocolate. Oh, I was gonna say something about cats. I don't know. Well, I like dark chocolate. What? That's not what I asked. <laughs> it's okay. been long enough. We've let the chocolate solidify, so let's go pull yes. it out. Wow! Look at that. There you go. Do you help? Chocolate. Okay. It's, it's time, time to sculpt. Time to sculpt. Whoa! Let's Wait, do I need a to get poop. The body. We're gonna do some of these poops. Okay. Okay. Um, I got. <laughs> Ronnie, I need the lighter. In the videos. In, in the videos, he like lights the stuff on fire so he can connect it all. Now let's see what happens with this guy. The giant poop. Whoa. Whoa! How satisfying is that? That is crazy. And here's my extra one, just in case I mess up with everything. That was so satisfying. My poop collection. I, I gotta stop sitting. <laughs> here's my body of my cube cat. Is it sticking? Is it working? Yes. Melting it like that? Yes. I'm not really sure how to attach the circle head to the body. This is good, this is good. Here's my body. <laughs> What? <laughs> you really are going for the cube cat look. I told you, cube to cat. What if I cut this in half? I just don't want to ruin it. Let's just go for it. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. So cats have legs. That's, yes. That is correct. Cats have legs. Now it needs a head. <gasps> what if I just do that? Does that look weird? If I did this. Yes. We're gonna work with that, okay? Did you figure out what you're gonna do for a tail? <laughs> what is that? It's cute cat. I'm just gonna go for it. Fire! Chocolate art. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, we're getting somewhere. The ears are kind of flopping. What? Okay, this is working, you guys. Don't do this at home, kids. <laughs> what are what are these? Ears. What oh. do you mean? <laughs> what are they? So now that we did the hard part, let's attach the legs. Okay. Melt, melt, melt. Melt, melt, melt. And I burned it. We got a leg. We've got a leg. <laughs> this is so funny. You know, I'm just gonna be honest. I did not think any of this was going to work. Me either. But here we are. Here we are. Ooh, much better ears. <laughs> oh, he's <laughs> cute cat. Cute cat. That, that is insane. Whoa, I angled it. Oh, <gasps> that's crazy. That is crazy. Fire. Angle. Whoa. We're going to attach this leg like that. We're gonna attach this one like so. Ugh, come on. I wish I had tweezers or something. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've got a cat. Look at my cat. Meow, meow. Cute cat. So meow, I made meow. these for the man. <laughs> Yum, yum, cute. <laughs> wow, so great. I didn't see what it looked like from the front. This is interesting. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my chocolate in a plastic bag and then I'm going to cut a little bit of this and I'm going to like fill in some of the spots. I'm going to like close it all in. I've got my chocolate. Just kind of like, you know, see? Like look, I make like a more of a flat canvas so I can add stuff to it. The cat's face is now done. Meow, meow. That is a great chocolate kitty. Now it's time to make like paws and stuff and I kind of didn't really prepare only with this in hopes that I could just cut arms and legs. 
And we let it harden so it doesn't look like a poop. <laughs> I need to figure out how to do a tail. I melted the whisker by accident. Again! Why I keep doing that? Okay, so next thing I need to figure out is how to make its face. And I do have my chocolate in here. We do have little chocolate pieces. I have an idea. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, now that I get the kitty front paws on, I'm gonna try to like round these just by shaping them, I guess. Does that work? Is that working? Is that working? The little paw kind of rounded now. Let's do this one. I'm like speechless. Is anyone else speechless? This is amazing. I feel so creative right now. Good Thank job, you. Ronnie. Thank you. No way is this happening right now. No way. Ugh, now I don't know what to do. Ooh. I do know what to do. Made some dots, and then I'm gonna let those harden. Those are gonna be the eyes. And then I might almost be done. I, the only thing I need to do is make a tail. So if this method is working, let me see if I could just like make a tail. <laughs> well, it could work. Wow. <laughs> what? Cube cat. Cube cat. <laughs> I'm really impressed with myself. I'm not going to lie. This is like working out so nicely. I think this Look, is like brilliant. It looks like he has fur. Oh, that's nice, Ronnie. Cute cat. <laughs> I feel like I could add way more detail to this cat. I think I'm just gonna let it be because I feel like I'm gonna jinx myself. How do we do this edible paint? Let's look at it. There's a tail. Wow. Okay, yeah, edible paint. Time to paint. All right, I'm painting the eyeballs. Did it work? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> really? It's just, it's like pearl color. It's yeah. not actually white paint. We're, we're making master, oh! Shoot. Time to test out the black paint. Ooh, I'm making green eyes. Oh, it doesn't even really like stay. You know how cats can sometimes have green eyes? That's what I'm doing. That's great, Ronnie. Okay, if that's not frightening, I don't know what that, what else is. <laughs> Oh, that looks so cute. Wait, don't cats have pink noses? <laughs> I didn't mean, I, I kind of wanted to do pink. All right, oh, my tail. Let me see what, ha what happens with the tail. I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, it might. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> so exciting. Now we're kind of done with the chocolate part. I got you, I got you. Oh, did it like solidify? Then you just gotta squeeze out. <gasps> <laughs> I don't know how this is looking, but. And then you know, sometimes some cats have like that white look, like they have a little white little thing on their forehead. Like quirky. I'm gonna make my kitty a little spotted with white. This is looking, this is good, this is good. Just a black, white, and brown kitty. The chocolate art is a lot harder than it seems. I'm, I'm gonna be done with my cat. You are? I, I am, I just feel like the paint is kind of a flop. Look, I made it have white paws and then a white tail end. I think I'm, that's good enough for mine too. Okay, so here is our chocolate art we've got two different versions of a cat. We've got chocolate cube cat, and then we've got chocolate. We, we just got a cat. Cat. <laughs> chocolate poop cat, and he can't tell it's poop anymore. Oh, yours is cute. It's a kitty. Yours turned out cute. I know. Yours turned out cute too. <laughs> I can't decide who won. They both suck. <laughs> Let's just both agree that we are not good at chocolate art. No. But I would say for our first go at it, I'm I like pretty good. I like the detail of the tail. I think you did a good Thank job you. on that. I like I like your cube cat. Do you see now what I was like going for? Yeah, like he's a little cube. slanted and looks like he's about to fall. No, though. he's sitting. Let us know in the comments what you think. Yeah, maybe we'll just leave the winner up to you guys because I really think that they're both not good. All right, we're getting the nice fancy shot. You should ask, what was their thought process? 
What was your thought process, Ronnie? So for my thought process, I didn't really know how the poop uh, chocolates would work out in my favor, but I'm glad I did two poops because one became the head and one was the body. It just worked and I feel like it really shapes, like has like that cat fluffiness, especially with the poop ears. That really worked in my favor as well. The dog bones worked good for legs. I really got the detail in there. You can really tell that it's a cat. I'm not too happy with how the paint turned out, but you know what? We had what we had and we worked with it. I really liked how I did the whiskers. I just found some chocolate pieces that were already long and I just put some melted chocolate on there and I stuck them on there. I think it turned out better than I thought I was going to do. I think it's do. really good. I like how the, the body looks with the head and it looks Me like too. a little cat. And, and I tried to make the tail fluffy it's and I think nice. that's an important detail. <laughs> Very good, thank you. Okay, so what was your thought process? Why did you decide to do a cube cat? Well, because I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> I honestly thought that the cube cat would stay stand up and I thought it would kind of look more uniformed. Okay. So we got like little squares going on and kind of just did the melting and smoothing technique, you know? What would you say is your favorite part about your cube cat? <laughs> I think the face. I really like the details of the face because those were pieces of chocolate I intentionally made. Yeah. I think the whiskers were probably the hardest. I kept accidentally melting them. <laughs> I think but. your cat turned out really good. The legs are interesting, but you know, it's cubed. Cubed thing. What do you mean they're interesting? They're just, it's sitting like a cat. That's how a cat say. A chubby cat. <laughs> what do you guys think of our cats? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for making it this far in the video. We and if you did, please share this video with your friends and your cat lovers. And vote in the community tab. We're gonna have a poll on whose cat won. Maybe we'll do a poll on Instagram as well. Vote on your favorite cat. Is it cute, cute cat, cat or poop cat? cat. <laughs> I don't think we'll ever do this challenge again. No. This took way too long. It took way too long and... But you know what? I really enjoyed it because we had to force ourselves to get creative with what we had. Yeah, and I think I had the right amount of chocolate. Like, I don't have any chocolate left over. Oh. I mean, but the melted. I meant, like, I froze the right amount. Oh, okay. I see. And thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching! If you like this video, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking this button right over here. We also live stream every week on Thursdays at 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. You can subscribe to our Merrill Twins live channel by clicking this button right here. Check out some of the other videos we've done and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.